Were you invited to my party? Cause I didn't think I sent you an invite. I guess this is kind of a celebration for both of us. Sorry about that. <laughs> we officially made it to 100,000 subscribers. Now I know this video was supposed to be like a couple weeks ago, but I thought about doing it now, cause why not? Thank you so much to all of you guys. I couldn't have done it without you. And I wanted to make this little video and have it be a different kind of fun video where we look back on the year we've had. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do an outfit change cause I love doing this. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and hop over to where we're going to celebrate. Sun is going down. Come on. You come in. Hello. So like I said, this isn't really going to be an art video. This is going to be really just me talking about my favorite artworks, uh, my favorite skits, and just looking at the art that I've done in the last year and YouTube videos. So I just want to go ahead and once again, thank you so much for tuning in all the time or some of the time, especially clicking that little subscribe if you want to, especially that little bill, because that's when you know I post because I'm a little random. So go ahead, grab a snack and get ready to chuckle because... I have some bloopers. Some bloopers. So I got my iPad here. Oh wait. This doesn't even seem like a celebration. I feel like we're missing something of substance. A whole cake. Uh, look at this cake. It's so pretty. Don't hurt him. Ow. I'm matching it, obviously. Look at this shirt. It matches the cake. And it also matches this art piece that literally started it all. It started my little TikTok career, started my YouTube. So I have this piece to thank. I am so happy that I started up with oil pastels again. I actually gave up uh, for a while there, but I'll get into it in a different video. But I'm so glad I did this, and now I have this, and now I have this. So let's go ahead and cut us a piece. <laughs> Look how pretty this cake is. So this beautiful cake was made by my friend Ray Kruger. I'll put her little mentions on the side. Look at this bean. Y'all see the bean? White chocolate. Mm. So this cake is a vanilla cake, but it has layers of cheesecake. So let's cut off a slice. I was cutting like butter. Mm. Mm. This is so satisfying. Ooh! Ooh! That looks so good. Mm. Thank you so much, Ray. Okay, so without further ado, I do have a little list of things I want to go over uh, as far as the videos go. So I have little bullet points of my favorites. Also, sorry about the sun, it's going in and out. So the first category I want to go over is the notorious throat grab. <laughs> you know how it is, I do it in every single video. I don't know where I decided to just kind of the camera, but I thought it was so funny when I was editing it one time I got so mad at myself that I did it and I'm like, oh my gosh, I should probably do this all the time Let's take a look at some of my favorite throat grabs I need your help! You coming? Well, <laughs> tis the season Let's go But I love you. <laughs> Give me a hug <laughs> But don't you ever scare me like that again. Well, that was very interesting. I wanted to do that real quick just to get it out of the way. I thought it was super funny. And now off to the second topic. Let's take a look back at some of the stupid skits I've made. Now, I've made a lot of them and a good chunk of them were for the spooky season. But honestly, I get the most inspiration from the spooky seasons. So I'm super excited to look back at my favorites. And don't you worry. I'm just gonna do small little snippets of each and every skit, so I'm not gonna show you the full one. And if you wanna see the whole skit, I'll go ahead and put it in my description so you can watch it after this video, of course. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do a countdown of four. So the fourth one being Rosemary's Baby. <laughs> Knock, say something, do something next time. <sighs> and I do have something to tell you. You know, after we had dinner the other night. <sighs> no, it's not yours. Oh, it's not even mine. I don't know what this is. Thought you might know. I'll be for the couch.
Girl, this ain't my child. That did not come out of me. Try again. <laughs> bye bye. The third one is Beetlejuice. <laughs> what we have here is Ritz crackers, sharp cheddar cheese, Hune de mustard for the sauce, two frozen french fries topped with a cilantro garnish and a strawberry candy. <sighs> Gosh, I'm just so famished. I might say so myself. <clears throat> you do something to me. It's like, <clears throat> let me just start from the top. There's like a, a flame that you, <clears throat> The second one has got to be the doll photography video. I'll let it show for itself. Okay, are y'all ready for a very spooky Thursday night? So what I have planned, we're gonna go ahead and watch Dolls from 1987. It's a really spooky movie. Oh, the popcorn's done, set you right there. I'll be right back, you guys. Girl, what? Girl, this man is full blown crazy. Did you hear what he said? He's trying to do all this stuff. Girl, you ain't wrong. I'm not, uh-uh. You trying to dish this popsicle stand because yeah. I'm not trying to be here. Girl, if you down the clown, I am. Girl, we could take him out very easily. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh-uh. Yes. Mm. Okay, girl, get the ropes. Oh, okay, yo, quick. Wait, hold on. He's coming. He's coming back. Oh, okay. Oh, shh, shh. So, fellas, what did I miss? <laughs> Y'all seem awfully quiet. Want some popcorn? Now! And number one, one of the funniest ones in my opinion, has got to be the decorating video. Of course for spooky season. This one was probably the hardest to edit just because I didn't know what I was doing and it was so dark when I was trying to edit it so I was trying to fix the exposure and it was horrible. But uh, go ahead and check this one out. Make sure to tune in for next week's story where we ask ourselves, why the big toe? <laughs> Y'all hear that? You sure you don't wanna go? I'll be right back. Stay right there. A ghost? Yes. Well, let me tell you something, Mr. Ghost. I'm sick and tired of you guys thinking you could walk up in here in my apartment. Y'all ain't on the lease. I pick and choose what happens in the- Silence. Now. Okay, Mr. Thane. Uh-uh. I did not finish. What is the stance you got going on? Not cute. Who have no idea how much trouble you are going to be the in. Threat? Of course it's a threat. What's wrong with you? You ain't gonna yell at me like that. Of course I do. You don't okay. listen. Okay, square up then. <laughs> the demons are coming what? to find you. You can chill down now. You ain't gotta get your friends. They're not friends. Uh, I was just... No, okay, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do whatever you want. Get the decorations now. Roger that. Roger that. You ain't gotta... Now. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> And if you're still watching, in the comments, go ahead and let me know what your favorite skits were, if you watched them, and if you haven't seen them yet, go ahead and check it out. Like I said, it's gonna be in the description. For the second category, I thought of a funky one. Um, I don't really do this a lot anymore, but I used to like dress up a little bit for my videos and do these weird little costumes. Now, like I said, I don't really do this too often anymore, so I should probably go back into doing looks. I do them more for Instagram, so if you have me on Instagram, you know I like to, I'm kind of a fashionista. But let's go ahead and take a look back at some of my favorite looks. First one is the trash bag dress. I know what you're probably thinking. Is it Gucci? Is it Louis? Chanel? No. It's a trash bag. That one was pretty weird. The second one has got to be the Harry Styles video where I dressed up as like a watermelon with sugar.
lastly but not least the Rosemary's Baby's Dress. Rosemary Baby Rosemary's Baby Dress video. Check it out. Now with this next category, we're actually talking about my favorite artworks. So, without further ado, number one, it has got to be Frankenstein. Very much Frankenstein. It started like a revolution in my head. Like it started a new way to shade for me. It was just so juicy. And it's probably one of my favorite drawings ever. Frankenstein is definitely number one. Number two, is this even a question? Bretman Rock, I mean, come on now. I love it so much. It also started a little revolution in my head because it really did help me learn a lot about oil painting once again and that is always so amazing when you're starting to go back into uh, different mediums and even learning about the same medium that you've been using a long time. So Bretman Rock, this painting has really changed the way I did art. So thank you so much. Number three, my painting self-portrait. It's actually right up here. It's one of my favorite self-portraits ever. I don't know, it's just so painterly. Number four, Shrek. I mean Shrek. No ends ands buts. It's Shrek. I don't, I'm not even gonna say nothing else. And number five, Dracula slash Nosferatu. I mean, it was just a really cool drawing. I also lost my mind while drawing this. I'll put a little clip right here. <laughs> That tends to happen a lot, so don't worry, I'm okay. <laughs> and now we come down to the last topic, or category. The category, the last category, my favorite video I've made. It has got to be, without a possibility of a doubt, the creation of my Corbina line doll. He is so cute to this day, I still look at him and I'm like, oh my gosh, I love you. Oh, he's just my little bubba. Period. But seriously though, this video was not only fun to make, but it was fun to edit and it was fun to rewatch. It was so much fun to make you, but boy. This has got to be one of my favorite videos ever. I still kind of go back and watch it, which is weird, but like I still go back and watch it because I think it's so fun and funny. Not only that, but this video was one of my most successful non-tutorial like YouTube videos, which was amazing because I don't really want to fall into the whole tutorial uh, YouTuber. This one was so much fun to make and a lot of people learned a lot from what I was doing which is crazy because it wasn't really a tutorial but it's so nice to see people tag me in their Coraline videos of them making a similar doll um, just because they see my video and it's amazing. There's so many videos out there but some people chose to watch my video and it means so much to me. Like I said, had to be one of my favorite videos to make. Uh, I also learned a lot in this video. It was just so much fun. I should probably sculpt again so let me know. Should I, should I do it Bubba? I actually have a couple more things to say, one being what I've learned over the past year and gaining all of these amazing subscribers. I've learned to not forget to have fun. Do not forget to have fun when you're creating stuff. Whether you have 20 subscribers, 20,000 subscribers, do not forget to have fun when you're creating or it's just going to seem like a chore. Also, I never thought I was going to get stressed doing YouTube videos. I thought it was just going to be so easy, so fun, just being myself on camera. But it does it does stress you out. And it is 100% okay to take breaks, do your thing, and don't forget what matters the most. The artwork itself. Making the artwork. However, I have something inside of me that just wants people to laugh. I just feel the need to make people laugh. I want to just make people happy, to inspire people, and to motivate people. So for me personally, in my creative process, I feel like I have to make videos that aren't just like me just drawing. I like to do, I pretty much like to do it all. I like to act, I like to be funny, I like to do stupid stuff, dress up, uh, just be wild, cause I that's just how I am. And I like little adventures, I like to do stuff. Especially getting outside of my comfort zone while we've had like the year we've had. It's been really hard to do that because it's hard being around people because obviously, but yeah, I hope that makes sense. That might just sound like clutter, but you know what I mean, hopefully. So those are a few things I've learned. I've learned so much more, but I feel like I could ramble forever. So the last little topic that I want to talk to you about real quick is the fact that I will be opening up a Patreon. Now I know what you might be thinking. Why are you even opening up a Patreon? Like, oh, blah, blah. I feel like sometimes my main platforms are a little bit more stressful to post on because it needs to be a certain way. But I feel like on Patreon, I could literally post whatever and it would be more like a diary. And I feel like I can give you guys more of a backstage, like look backstage, back closet. Back curtain, 
behind the curtain look on what I create and how I create. Sorry, Bubba. You know what I mean? Like I said, almost like a diary. Like I can post little things, I can post sketches, and I would have less stress posting on there, more personal stuff or things I'm going through. But not only that, I'm also in my dining room right now. This is where I do my art. It's an eight by eight foot room and it is kind of suffocating at the moment. I wanna make bigger artwork and that is kind of what I strive to want to do right now. I wanna make bigger and better artwork, of course. Having a small one bedroom apartment filled with artwork and also filled with shipping supplies and scanners and also just my clothes and my regular day-to-day -day life stuff. It is kind of a mess. Also, the walls are paper thin so they can hear me scream every single day. I swear, someone's always in the hallway. I really would love to one day have a loft or some kind of place where I can do my art and live because let's be honest, I'm so attached. I don't think I could be like miles away from my artwork. It's so weird, I know, but that's just kind of how I am. So yeah, I might get more into depth with that later on once I open up my Patreon, but for now, I just wanna let you guys know I have a Patreon, so if you wanna go and support and look at back scene stages passes, or back, more in depth look at how I create my process, uh, go ahead and subscribe to my Patreon. I am hoping to launch it around mid-May and I'm also hoping to launch my Etsy mid-May as well. I am super excited about it, I'm gonna be super busy and yeah, more cake for me to devour. I think that's about it, so thank you so much for tuning in back onto this little channel, watching this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you had a very fun time because I very much did looking back on some of these old videos and some of these old art pieces Pieces. And once again, thank you so much for all the support and it's almost been a year since I've quit my job and became a full-time artist and Let me know if you want to see a video on that. I feel like that would be kind of a cool video to make So let me know but as always if you have any questions concerns Let me know down in the comments below if you have any suggestions on what I should do next also let them down Let me down below let them let me know down below also don't forget to click that little subscribe and that little bell So you know when I post because I'm a little rammed and please stay creative, stay juicy, and don't forget to eat some cheesecake this weekend. Bye! Back hurt. Yeah, my back hurts so bad. <laughs>